is it like going from a period comedy to an action-packed Hawkeye set where you play Kate Bishop? It couldn't be more different. Um, but it's uh, it's it's a fun change of pace. I just I, I love what I do so much for that reason. I, I'm in one world one day and, and a completely different one the next. Um, but it's been so fun to have this opportunity creatively uh, and just having lived in this world of Dickinson that I'm so thankful I get the opportunity to go back to because I get to take a step back and think, you know, in my own time, um, just obviously about the character and about the progression of things um, and to be able to walk away and sort of enter a new headspace and then come back with, with a fresh outlook, um, I feel like is, is just amazing as an artist to have the opportunity to do, to do that. But I'm, I'm honored to be involved in both projects. What about Kate are you excited to bring to the screen? What about your version will surprise fans? You know, ooh. I mean, I, I am just so excited as, as I am in the process of developing her. I'm working with some incredible filmmakers that are helping me bring her to life. I can't wait for people just to see how we are interpreting this character through the comics um, and, and in our own sort of ways. Um, She's such a badass. There's no denying that. She's so smart and witty and quick. And um, her physical ability to do so many things is through the roof. It's really, it's tested me and it's kept me uh, going through quarantine, I will say. It's given me a reason to stay with it. Um, but I'm just uh, very excited as I continue developing her um, to see sort of how we um, come up with it all. What if I don't want fame? How do you want to be remembered? I feel like the big theme of this season is that Emily is really facing issues of fame and notoriety and does she want it, does she not want it? How would you kind of describe her journey that she goes on in season two? I mean, the journey is trying to find and those uh, the answers to those questions that you sort of just threw out there. It's, you know, What's going to happen if I if my life goes from being in the corner of my bedroom at this tiny desk uh, with one reader, right, of my poems, to possibly the world? Um, Emily, again, is searching for the answers to what is fame exactly. I don't want to disappear from this earth without anybody knowing who I am. What is the meaning of that? What determines that? Am I opening myself up to a world of judgment? And all this sort of self-doubt comes over her. She's never, ever had an issue with sitting down and writing, and suddenly she's just, like, overtaken and consumed by this idea of, of fame and attention. And it's something she's always thought she wanted. Um, and, and we sort of imagine that, like, that's something she's she must want, right? I can't be your only reader anymore. You need to share your writing with the world. And so it's just sort of this crazy back and forth roller coaster ride of her trying to figure out what the heck she really wants.